One of the most important aspects of the acceptance of AM as a mainstream manufacturing technique is ensuring consistency of the process. Find out more in this episode about what additive industries are doing to make sure you can build the same part on a Metal Fab 1, regardless of what machine is building the part, who is operating it, and where it's located in the world. The MetalFab 1 system is equipped with up to four full field lasers. In order to have these lasers work together effectively, the MetalFab 1 system is equipped with an integrated calibration system. Uh, this calibration system relates each of the lasers to an integrated absolute reference marker plate. This reference plate is stored inside the machine and each of the optical axes is equipped with a on-axis camera system that observes markers which are placed on this reference plate. Secondly, the uh, exposed laser markers on the build plate are being observed by the same camera system and any difference between the two positions is compensated automatically in the scanner control system. I work as an optical design engineer at Additive Industries. In order to obtain a constant energy density throughout the entire build plate, we developed a number of automated calibration processes that ensures the highest part quality. Uh, for a laser powder bed fusion method that is used in Metal Fab 1, it needs a high energy density. That means a lot of power inside a small area. In Metal Fab 1, we have four 500 watt laser that ensures the high laser power. On the other hand, if a single mode transverse electromagnetic wave, Gaussian beam ensures the smallest pot size. We use ISO standard method to measure the beam quality. In that case, we use a very accurate CCD sensor where we capture the image of different parallel plane and then we fit it with a laser caustic. We measure with a highly accurate sensor and calibrate the laser power with the entire range of operation of Metal Fab 1. Laser focus is calibrated with the photosensitive aluminium plate where we mark the laser with a different focus. Then we use the fission algorithm together with the inline camera to measure the laser focus and finally calibrate it. Similar method has been used to calibrate the XY uh, position of the laser as well. Laser powder bed fission method needs high power density. That means a lot of power within a small area. Metal Fab 1 system has been designed to produce the highest levels of repeatability and producibility of the parts and manufacturers. One of the ways we achieve this is through our laser scanner calibration process, as presented by my colleague Erwin earlier in the episode. Scanning onto an analyzed plate on over 350 locations with all four lasers and using our in-situ vision camera, we are able to output and measure extremely accurately the offsets of each laser with respect to an absolute reference grid and calibrate them within a tolerance of plus or minus 50 microns. The laser offset per location is presented by the four different color arrows on the chart. The same system and reference plate you can use to measure the mechanical offset from the kinematic mounting of the exposure module to multiple build chambers and generate mechanical compensations to achieve the same high tolerance on all chambers. The graph shows a 3D representation of the laser to laser offset before the mechanical offset has been applied. When applying this to real life production of parts, we can break down each section of the calibration and look at the part quality, specifically mechanical performance of each phase over multiple builds and cores. The box plot shows the parts that have been printed over a full 420 by 420 mm squared fill plate and the box size depicts the consistency across the full volume. The 30% reference line is the minimum requirement for the material specification. Comparing the build-to-build -build performance over three different prints, we have consistency in elongation percentages with small de deviation in the median values. Looking at a similar data set, but this time comparing core-to-core -core results, we have a tight distribution of elongation percentage regardless of which core the parts have been manufactured on within the same system. A final comparison of our machine to machine over multiple builds and AI facilities, we can see the same trend as the other sets of results, showing that when you apply the automated calibration process through your factory, you can achieve repeatable and producible parts quality from every Metal Fab 1 every time. 
When we talk about the quality reporting on the MetaFab 1, we have many ways of tracking and logging the build sensor data, our build reports to our in-process monitoring systems. We offer a complete integrated solution with lots of output data and our many sensors in the system can be viewed from our report such as build timing, gas flow and layer duration. This is just a short insight to how robust the MetalFab 1 system can be. My name is Oliver Pohl. I'm the head of the Additive Manufacturing Center here in Wolfsburg from Volkswagen. In MetalFab 1 we have a productive for labor system the modular system with two AM cores has a good performance. Especially with the automatic powder extraction, we have less manual effort compared with other SLM systems. From our point of view, this is one important step forward for industrial processes. I hope you are enjoying our videos so far. Keep coming back every week. There's many more interesting things to come.